Throughout the month of April, the State Department is celebrating cultural diplomacy. Cultural exchanges are a powerful way for people to connect across borders and for countries to build respect for each other. Moreover, they're an integral part of U.S. foreign policy. America's arts and culture are a major source of our national strength. Our musicians, filmmakers, artists, writers, and athletes captivate the world. Their work can get people to see each other's humanity, build a sense of common purpose, change the minds of those who misunderstand us, and tell the American story in a way that no policy or speech ever could. That's why, for decades, the State Department, through the Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs, has invested in cultural diplomacy. We deploy cultural ambassadors to share their creativity and expertise with foreign publics. We sent jazz musicians abroad in the 1950s to share this American art form with the world, and we still sponsor jazz programs today. We hold essay contests on topics like disability rights and put together showcases of musicians from across America. We hosted screenings of Hamilton at dozens of embassies around the world for 4th of July, and we'll screen a documentary for Earth Day about young scientists around the world solving local environmental challenges. The American Music Abroad program is integrating song lyrics into English language learning lessons. Our next level hip hop and conflict transformation programs tackle issues like racism and intolerance. Through our embassy in Israel, U.S. chefs have shared their favorite foods for Passover, Easter, and Ramadan. These are just a few examples of the innovative, warm-hearted work that the Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs does to bring American arts and culture to the world, and to bring cultures from abroad to the American people. On a personal note, my wife Evan Ryan was the Assistant Secretary of ECA under Secretary of State John Kerry, so I know firsthand how hard this team works and how rewarding the results can be. So I'm delighted to join in this month's celebration of cultural diplomacy. I can't wait until it's safe again for American artists to hit the road on behalf of the American people. And I congratulate everyone in the Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs for their excellent work over the years. Thank you.